house together forever, motorcycle diaries. All right, uh, so what we're going to do uh, today on the 2021 Royal Enfield Continental GT650 is uh, I picked up a Sea uh, Racer uh, fairing. So I've sort of I've looked around at uh, a bunch of various fairings. Uh, there's an MK Designs that's got one. There's another one out of Thailand, and the one thing that I didn't really like with those fairings is they extended the headlight bracket out. The headlight had to be extended out. So they kind of made, to me, they made the bike look a little more sort of front heavy or nose heavy. Whereas the uh, the Sea Racer fairing here that I've got, uh, this one seemed to fit, I think, more ideally, more snug with the factory uh, location of the headlight. So, like I said, just... Uh, Box this one from Sea Racer. I uh, put all the uh, bolts and fittings into this one uh, container so that I can keep track of them. So that I'll lose them for sure. Anyways, uh, this is the fairing. Uh, they only come in black. That's the only color that they come. They're just straight out of the mold, black plastic. So they've got to be painted. Windshield is windshield screen is here. There you have it. That's, that's the fairing. So that's gonna fit like so. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to extend the signal lights. As you can tell here, uh, they're they're tucked in a bit more, so now I've got a couple options for the signal lights. I'm either gonna extend them out or alternatively, uh, mount them to the forks. Uh, so we'll see, I'll, I'll uh, figure that out as we get to, to mounting the actual fairing. It's quite light rate, there's not much to it. Uh, what does it say here, Sea Racer, made in Greece. So it's all the way from Greece. Anyways, uh, what we've got to do, of course now is, uh, I was gonna take it to a paint shop, priced it out, they wanted around, I don't know, 300 bucks at a body shop to paint it. I'm not going to do that, but that's crazy. So, uh, what I've got here is I got some primer, uh, black. This one's a uh, Canyon black satin, sort of a dull black. But my thoughts are, I want the uh, the inside of the fairing uh, black, and then the outside in the white, the uh, ice queen. So, uh, okay, so the uh, the paint code for the uh, Ice Queen white, which is also the paint code for the Baker Express white, is RAL9010. I uh, went to my local uh, auto body shop and uh, they uh, package it in a spray bomb for you for, I think, 40 bucks. It's Canadian though, so in the States it's probably you know, 20 bucks or something like that. Anyways, uh, primer and then the black. So. All right, so uh, first thing we've got to do, of course, is uh, clean and prep this, the plastic. I'm, uh, I've never done this before, so uh, I've just taken the advice from my local paint shop guy who seems very knowledgeable about uh, all things uh, paint and plastic. So the biggest thing was to clean off uh, the plastic. They say there's going to be a mold release, so I'll uh, clean that off properly, and then... Uh, Buff it with a scotch Brite pad just to get rid of some of the sheen and have a, a proper surface for the uh, primer to adhere to. And then we'll paint it. So come on along as I paint up the fairing. I'll uh, show, some, show you some snippets of that. And we'll see. All right, so we're back in the house. What we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to wash the uh, fairing off with some soap and water and try and get any of the release agents. And they say to use as hot a water as you can, uh, you can handle. So I've uh, got some good hot water and some soap. And I'm just going to give it all a good scrub. washed it off with hot soapy water and get 
give it a little rinse, some hot water. Uh, next up, what I'm going to do is give it a bit of a wipe down with some alcohol to further right off here I'm gonna give it a wipe down with some alcohol what we're trying to do here of course is to give a good surface for the paint to adhere to the last thing you want to do after putting all the time and effort into it is Paint flake off. Okay, so I've gone over the uh, gone over the fairing now with some alcohol to further remove any residue. Now I'm going to use my uh, gray Scotch Brite and go over the whole fairing and try and get rid of the sheen. As you can tell here, you can see the shine, and then when you go over with the uh, Scotch Brite, that'll remove the shine. So what I'm going to do is go over the whole fairing with the scotch Brite to get the surface ready to uh, take the paint. Then I'm going to do a complete clean again, uh, just because there might be some residue or some gunk in the scotch Brite. I'll do the clean again with the soap and water and alcohol, then we'll be ready to prime. Alright, I don't want to go too crazy on it. To, um, damage it at all and scratch it so I think that's pretty good there. Let's see it's all all new to me so now I wanna wash off again just keep once over with a tack cloth to get any So we got three coats on the other side. Alright, so we're about to do a third coat primer. Uh, Alright, uh, D number two, the primer set up. We're going to get the first coat of the, uh, the black on the inside. Okay, coat number three on here. All right, so I've got uh, three coats on the inner side, and I've masked it all off. Now it's time for the first coat with the uh, Alright, so here we are now. Um, it's been a bit of a, an ordeal painting this, uh, this fairing, I gotta say. Uh, so, it took me three attempts to, to do it, but what I did uh, initially was I had the, uh, the paint coat, had a, a, a can of paint made up by a local paint shop, and color-wise it didn't seem too bad, uh, but it wasn't, I couldn't get a, a nice finish on it. So what the guy suggested I do, he said that I did two light of coats. So I did light, 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 rather than going sort of a light and then a wet coat. Uh, I did too many light coats, so I kind of messed that up. So had to uh, wet, dry, sand it uh, with some 600 grit, and then clear coat over top. 
But the problem with that, of course, was that the clear coat ended up being yellow. The clear coat the guy sold me ended up being yellow. So then I was getting a little, uh, little frustrated and a little uh, choked at this guy. So went to our local parts store and picked up another batch of paint. You can see here, these are the uh, kinds of paint that I've gone through. That's the uh, the, fact, the spray bomb with the factory paint that I uh, had put in there. And the clear coat that ended up being yellow. Of course, then there's primer. That was the black for the inside of the frame. So what I get, ended up getting was uh, duplicates, original Ford colors. Uh, just sort of wandering around the parts store and eyeballing things and matching it up. But anyways, it's... Uh, uh, CFB MO335 Performance White, they call it. Uh, came out pretty good, actually, so I had to spray it with that. Did about uh, four coats of that, and then uh, some uh, acrylic lacquer clear, clear coat on top, uh, which seemed to uh, seemed to come up uh, pretty good, of course. Uh, better than I uh, expected. Not as good as a, as a factory job, but... Uh, there's no runs. Uh, the finish on it isn't so, so bad. It's good. I'm, I'm quite happy with it. So now what we've got to do is mount it up. I should also state, I guess, what I've done is, uh, as you see here with these uh, signals, is I've extended them out so that they'll clear this bracket and clear the fairing when the fairing is, is installed. So they'll go on like that. I'll put a link uh, in the description to these uh, signals. I'm quite happy with them. They, uh, they seem pretty decent. Um, can see they're, they're quite bright uh, yeah quite happy with those so what I did was I ordered a, a, a 10 millimeter hollow sleeve and then just took a, a drill bit and just drilled it out a little bit then JB welded uh, the one shaft into the other and then ran my wires down through it and mounted it like that so that's where we're at with that so far so now it's time to uh, to get the fairing mounted up now I will say that the instructions from uh, Sea Racer aren't the the best or the most intuitive uh, instructions that I've ever seen. But uh, anyways, bear with me and we'll uh, mount it up and see how it looks. So first off, is these two uh, acorn nuts have to come off, and Sea Racer gives you a a spacer, I think it's about a uh, 35, no sorry, not a 35, a 17 millimeter spacer to uh, to go on here. Now, I guess we'll carry on with the washer. And so this spacer So that was one of the reasons why I I picked the Sea Racer fairing as well was I, I really liked the way that uh, that they mount. There's four points to mount. It's two here and then one on each side of the headlight. So there's four spots where it actually mounts up. Um, I'm just gonna put this guy on as well. So that's that guy there. Now, these um, brackets from Sea Racer come with these those sort of nuts that uh, that mount into the brackets. So they have to go in like that, and then the fairing bracket, fairing bolts will will mount right into it. So next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in here. So these angled ones, each of these gets mounted like so. Okay, so from the factory, this comes with a uh, metric 6 by 18. They call it an adapter. This is this uh, threaded sleeve. Now, on one of the forums that I'm on, the person there was saying that what they've done is they bought two of these and stuck them together, and in order to uh, tilt the fairing forward, a bit to then have the plexiglass windshield uh, clear 
the gauges more. With it down, the, the gauges were partially obscured by the plexiglass. You could see through it, but it was a bit of an issue. So what I've done is I picked up, uh, and I'll put a link below, uh, I picked up two of these uh, metric 6 uh, by 10 by 35 uh, adapters. So what that does is that drops the uh, fairing down a bit, and as a result, of course, lifts the... Uh, uh, the windshield up a bit. So I put those on. I'm going to put it together using those and uh, I'll try it if I don't like it or if I find there's for whatever reason it doesn't uh, doesn't work then we'll pull it off. But uh, that's what we've got on there right now. So like I say these brackets here you don't want to tighten up any of these brackets right now because you do have quite a bit of movement uh, when you're installing the, uh, the, uh, the fairing. So I'll put the fairing on lightly right now, and then um, we can make some final adjustments uh, down the road. Like I say, the, the, the other thing too to remember is that the, the fairing is uh, plastic, so it is quite uh, flexible, and uh, you can manipulate it around a bit. Uh, Bend it or whatever you feel. It's like flexi. It, is, it is quite flexible. So I did the far side. I'll do this side here. Say so one of the reasons why I went with this fairing is I, I really like the fact that it wasn't um, set out too far from the headlight. Uh, a couple of the other ones that I looked at. Uh, you actually had to extend the headlight out, and I just didn't really like the, the look of it for me, but uh, to each their own. So I'm just going to get this guy started, and then we'll snug it up some, as you can see inside here. Um, they do. There is some movement, um, so this guy down here. This is one of those projects where I started. I really wish Sea Racer uh, would supply these painted, even for an extra fifty bucks or something. I'm sure they could uh, have some factory colors painted and uh, I think that would be a lot a lot easier for the do-it-yourselfer uh, most body shops I think are quoting around three hundred dollars to paint it which three to four hundred dollars to me seems excessive but I guess that's that's what body shops charge nowadays I'm quite happy with the way it turned out though using the, uh, the spray bombs There is a bit of a gap around the headlight, which is good, I think. So I'm just going to tighten these in place, and I'll get right back to you. All right, so I had to do a little a couple sort of back and forth, and fairing on, fairing off, fairing on. Fair. So what I came up with was the bracket. Uh, if you look from the top down here, these brackets angled like that. And the ones on the headlight uh, bolt there, uh, basically straight down. So now we'll mount up the fairing. And hopefully, everything will be good. Okay, so once you get them all in place, then just slowly tighten them up equally. You don't put any... Too much stress on one one side. The uh, the vision of the gauges. And yeah, if you want to have a look here, you can see going down the mounting. There, and then right there. And 
as well down there. If you've got your stock uh, headlight mount on the Enfield, it's probably going to be a lot to, a lot easier to do. I think mine was a little more difficult because I have a, a different uh, headlight bracket. I almost at one time was thinking I'd go back to the uh, the stock one, but there's an even gap around the sides of the headlight, which is good. Now I'll put the, uh, the plexi on and show you guys what's up. Be right back. All right, so got it mounted up and got the windshield attached. Um, the windshield is, is awesome. It's super, it's, it's really thick. It's, it's really decent. So yeah, there we have it. Um, the Sea Racer. Cafe fairing. As you can tell by by boosting it up a little bit, uh, using those spacers, uh, it does bring the windshield up just a tit, titch, <laughs> and uh, so yeah, uh, makes it good. Wish the weather was better outside. I could take it outside and show you everything from the side. Signals are showing from the front, no problem. That's good. It's a, it's quite a solid uh, bearing once it's all attached. I don't foresee any problems with it or issues with it at all. But yeah, uh, once again, guys, thanks for watching. Lost together forever. More single batteries. Thanks for joining us on our uh, journey with this uh, Royal Enfield Continental GT650. And uh, stay tuned, we've got some more videos coming. You guys can uh, get a chance. We'd uh, really appreciate it if you'd uh, give us that thumbs up if you like this video and the content that we're doing. And please subscribe as well if you could. Uh, we're hoping that we can hit a thousand subs uh, this year, I hope. But uh, anyways, 